Um, zero FX from G3 PIA. Oh, thanks for that description. And yes, okay, it's nice to know that you uh, get an advance warning then that things are going to be around. And I suppose that, thinking about it, that would be a uh, common sense uh, thing to have happened uh, to have given you some sort of a heads up on what was likely to be uh, in your vicinity. And uh, glad you didn't suffer any real turbulence, uh, of course. Anyway, very good. So, I hope you enjoy the uh, uh, the uh, radio then over the weekend, if the weather's all right, and uh, get some good results, good DX, and uh, good to have heard you this afternoon. Thanks very much indeed for joining the net, and wish you 7-3. Uh, okay, round to Roger for a final G0 AOZ from G3 PIA. Okay, Dave, thank you very much. G3 PIA, G0 AOZ returning with the group. Okay. Um, well, it's the major, major problem with, with one of the TNCs that uh, seems to be uh, going down. I uh, can't uh, do anything with it for the moment, and uh, it's caused a few problems, uh, more, more problems recently, uh, so I'm going to replace it uh, rather than fiddle about with it, and uh, once I've got it on the uh, open on the bench, I can see if there's anything that can be done. But uh, I suspect I'll probably leave the replacement one in there. Um, Clint, uh, you went down with your 70 watts to 5 and 9 with me, 5 and 9. Uh, so you're about uh, 5 and 9 plus 5 when you were uh, at the 100 watt level, I think. So uh, uh, still a perfectly good uh, signal. Tim went right down into the noise with me. Uh, I could just about copy you, Tim, but uh, during that last over, but you went right, signal went right down into the noise. Uh, so, uh, so there we are. Right, so I think that's about it from this end. So, Dave, thank you very much indeed for running the net this afternoon. 7-3 to you, 7-3 to Anne. Look forward to catching up with you on Friday if you're around. Uh, so, cheers for now. G0AOZ is signing clear from the group, wishing everyone 73. Yeah, it's okay, Roger. G0AOZ G0, from Steve back in from G3PIA. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll understand. Well, I hope everything goes all right when you change the TNC and uh, and uh, problem solved. And uh, good luck with trying to fix the uh, fix the other one if it is fixable. Um, there we are. Okay, thanks very much for joining in this afternoon, then. Good to hear you. And um, be in touch. Uh, obviously, regard to uh, to Carol. And uh, we'll see you further down the pencil probably on a Friday evening. So round to uh, Clint for the final. M0 Oscar X-ray Foxtrot from G3 PIA. Golf 3, Papa India Alpha, Mike 0, Oscar X-ray Fox returning. I uh, just wanted to uh, check, Dave, that you can copy me. Uh, go ahead. Yep, 5 and 8. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox returning. Thanks, Dave. So uh, I, I'm on the ELAD uh, FDM duo with the uh, Neptune uh, linear and uh, yeah, putting out about 100 watts. So uh, with five watts going in, uh, the ELAD continually monitors the, S the SWR. So that's at 1.089 to one. So good SWR and yeah, about 100 watts out. So uh, this is uh, what I've been testing for Nigel uh, when he's been using this setup. Yeah, it's uh, the P the PTT just uh, is constantly sort of dropping out, and he doesn't know why. So uh, he wanted to know whether it was Herm a problem with Hermes uh, SDR uh, transceiver, or whether it's with the Neptune itself. But it seems like it's a problem with his rig uh, rather than with the uh, linear. So uh, there you go. Uh, nothing more to add. The uh, oh, actually, we do have a report. Wow. So Dave, a report for you from Peter King um in surrey uh three and seven three and seven so uh thank you very much peter that uh came in about 45 seconds ago uh nothing more to add other than to say thank you very much for running the net dave good to speak to you and the other guys this afternoon thanks for uh the opportunity to give this uh setup a, a little go and uh good that you can still hear me if uh any more reports come in uh via the x feed before you wrap it up I'll uh, break in. But other than that, wish you 7-3 and hopefully catch up with uh, some of you again on Friday. You never know. Make it five weeks in a row. Um, all the best, 7-3. Golf 3, Papa India Alpha from Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox. Yeah, Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox from G3 PIA. Yeah, Clint, um, I presume it's a different microphone. Are you talking very closely to the microphone because you're getting a sort of a type of sound? 
enough of uh, uh, noise, and um, it's difficult to tell whether it's air noise on the microphone diaphragm or whether, in fact, the uh, the PA is uh, limiting. Looking at uh, the band scope, it looks clean, but um, just uh, tell me, you're talking very closely to the microphone. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox returning. Yes, I am. Uh, I was talking very uh, close to the microphone because uh, I've had this SDR transmitter, uh, transceiver, ELAD, for many years, and I've probably transmitted on it about five times. So uh, how does that sound now, Dave? I've got it about half a foot away from me now, about six inches. Back to you. Yeah, it sounds better. Um, it'll be interesting if anybody else has got any comments on that. It doesn't sound... It sounds like there is a little bit of distortion there somehow. Um, I wonder when um, when Nigel uses it whether he's got um, whether it's RF switch that PA or whether it's um, actually got a PTT connection. Do you know? Uh, I've connected it with a uh, just a PTT. It's actually on the back of the ELAD. It's a uh, three point five uh, millimeter audio sort of type jack. Uh, and then it go, that then sort of with a adapter sort of cable converts into a socket, like a standard uh, hi-fi audio type connector. So uh, I've actually, it's now probably about a foot away from uh, my mouth is, uh, how does that sound Dave? Back to you. Yeah, there's, there's still something there and it's a difficult uh, distance. It's uh, difficult to uh, put my finger on what it is, but there's, there's some distortion. Uh, but I'm being, a, I'm being sort of critical. I mean, if you just called me in on the normal contact, I would just give you a report, chat, and go away. Um, but there's definitely something still not right. But I wouldn't have said the power was dipping out at all. It's, uh, it's just something a little bit odd. And I'm wondering whether it was RF getting into the PTT circuit uh, with Nigel uh, that was causing the, causing the thing to trip out. But uh, interesting one. So it's comparable. We'll see if anybody else has got any comments. Um, I don't know if Tim's been able to copy you uh, strong enough, but uh, let's go on round to him. So I'll come back to you and let you sign in a minute. Let's go on down to Tim and see if anybody else has any comments on the audio. I think Roger was receiving a much stronger signal than I was. Uh, M0, oh, that's Tim signed, hasn't he, already? So, and Roger signed, uh, sorry, um, Robert signed. So, Roger, uh, Roger, did you have a good copy on uh, Clint's signal, over? Yes, I did, but uh, didn't really notice anything out of the ordinary day, but then my ears are not very good these days, so uh, um, I haven't got anything... Uh, ...less or less bass. Uh, but to me it sounded OK, Dave, uh, from G0AOZ. Yeah, OK, thanks, Roger. Uh, right, in that case... Um and I'm being critical, but I think there's a little bit of top-end distortion, and it isn't overload. I can't put my finger on what it is, because obviously you've just reduced the volume of level, sorry, the actual audio level going into the microphone, so that's not, um, you're not overdriving things, uh, but there's still a little bit of um, audio. Perhaps bring the microphone back close to your mouth, but put it at 90 degrees to your mouth, so there's definitely no air noise, and try again, uh, Clint, over. Golf 3, Papa Indy Alpha, Mike 0, Oscar X-Ray Fox returning. Right, so Dave, I've, uh, I had the mic, I've turned the mic gain down a little bit. How does that sound? Back to you. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds absolutely fine. Um, it sounds like digital audio. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox returning. So uh, I've turned the microphone gain down uh, and I'm now just holding the microphone normally. So uh, how does that sound? Back to you. Yeah, I would have said that sounds fine. Sounds absolutely fine. Um, it, it's just the audio. As Roger said, there's no, there's very little bass. It's mostly toppy. Uh, it's good communication quality. But um, I'd be interested to get somebody else who's got a slightly stronger. You're not noise. You're not fully quieting on me um, on this um, on, the, on this radio. And even with the loop, uh, it still doesn't quite good enough for me to be able to really give you a critical report. You need to talk perhaps to somebody with, who is receiving your signal a little bit stronger to get a real critical report. Or uh, possibly listen to yourself, see if uh, on one of the SDRs or something like that. But it's working and you're, giving the out you're getting the output power now, so obviously uh, there's probably very little wrong with the actual radio. Uh, right, uh, back to you now for any final. M0, uh, except from G3PIA. I'll close the net then. 
Golf three, Papa India Alpha, Mike Zero, Oscar X Ray Fox. Yeah, okay, thanks, Dave. All copied. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, really, I'm only testing it because uh, Nigel has uh, issues with the Hermes with it uh, sort of cutting out on transmit, so it's not doing that. Uh, I'm sort of not surprised that the audio's not been optimized because uh, I've done nothing other than literally. Uh, plug it into the lad and uh, match it, and then and then basically start transmitting. So I uh, appreciate the feedback. I've turned the microphone microphone gain down a bit, so uh, that's obviously uh, helped a little bit. As uh, as long as it doesn't sound like it's distorting. Uh, bottom line is it seems to be working. So uh, I'll have to hand it back to Nigel. And the bad news for Nigel, of course, is that what he really wants is for the issue to be with the linear because uh, he loves the Hermes. So uh, it does seem to be working okay. Um, which is, uh, yeah, um, what Nigel really wanted to know. So uh, thank you very much for the feedback, Dave uh, and Roger. And thank you for running the net, Dave, and uh, wish you and everyone else 7-3 and uh, hopefully catch up with you again on Friday. So uh, all the best from me. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox, going clear. Yep, OK, fine. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox. Tom Golf 3, Papa India Alpha. All right, fine, Flynn, 12. I'm glad you, you know, it's good to be able to sort the radio rig out for, uh, uh, for Nigel. And uh, hopefully, you know, if he configures it in the same way that you've got it configured, it should, uh, it should all work or uh, change his configuration or something. But, uh, at least that certainly sounds all right, no problems at all. Uh, just, a little, just a little harsh, I think that's probably how I would put the audio, as opposed to distorted. That's uh, fine. Okay, well, thanks very much for joining in the net this afternoon. Good to hear you, and thanks for obviously looking after the uh, the X feed. Uh, we're getting one report, um, I believe, and we haven't had any more since. So, I wish you seven three and uh, seven three to everybody else on the net. Uh, thanks very much indeed for coming on this afternoon. So, this is T3 PIA, club station of the Harwell Amateur Radio Society, closing the net now on behalf of the club and wishing everybody 7-3 and any shortwave listeners also and just to announce the safest operated by and from Golf 8 down to Victor Kilo. 7-3 Dave. 7-3 Dave. Yes, Roger. Cheers Dave, 7-3. 7-3 Roger. Sorry, just again. Have a good rest of the day, Dave. Oh yeah, right. Okay, Robert, thanks very much. Sorry, it came through just I got a burst of interference, the same thing. Yes, likewise, and uh, enjoy the DXing if it happens at weekends. Good luck, as you say, while the boss is away. Yeah, hopefully, and uh, we'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to your uh, talk. Right, OK. I don't know if it's much of a talk, really. It's getting round the table and saying, here's the bits and this is what we're going to be doing. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it should be interesting. All about five. Hey, bye. Yeah, thanks, Dave. It's M0KP still here. I, I had a mention of audio, so I carried on this week a bit. But uh, thank you very much. 7-3, catch you soon. I don't know if you're still there, actually, Clint, but uh, my missed what radio you switched to. Actually, I don't know if you're still there. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, I'm still there. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dave. 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 Uh, units, but um, Nigel is having problems running a Neptune 100 watt linear amplifier from his Hermes. It keeps dropping out on transmit. So uh, I went around his the other night and he just handed it to me and said, could you uh, give this a test so uh, and see whether it drops out on transmit with the, with your uh, rig? And it doesn't. So uh, and Dave was just um, giving me some feedback on the audio, which he said sounded a little bit harsh. Uh, but that's not surprising given that I haven't done anything with the audio settings at all. So uh, that was the story here. Uh, back to you, Mike Zero Kilo Echo Papa from Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, it's, um, I wondered if you were running a slightly wider bandwidth, actually, because I've got you about 3.3 kilohertz, and if you're not running wider bandwidth, um, that might be part of the problem, but I can hear what they say, it sounds very sort of vintage-like, it's, it's clipping slightly somewhere, um, so it's, you know, it's not too bad, a lot of people would like that sound, <laughs> of vintage, uh, kind of vowel-type thing, um, but, uh, yeah, it's, something, it's definitely something not quite right there, but, yeah, it's, uh, it, you know, it's sounding fine anyway, Clint, but um, I did do a little recording, but I'm not sure whether the, uh, the, the signals are strong enough, really, to play it back over. Mike Zero, Oscar X-Ray Fox returning. Yeah, thanks, uh, Tim. Uh, yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Uh, like I said, I wasn't really testing it for audio quality. Uh, it was really more about uh, whether... Uh, the e lad um, uh, in conjunction with the e lad whether it drop it would drop out on transmit 
which he does all the time with Hermes. So it looks like there's a comms problem between the Hermes and the uh, and the Neptune, whereas uh, with the Elad it's working perfectly. So it was really just a test of that. I did do a test with Nigel himself the other night for a few minutes and it was uh, fine. So uh, I just mentioned to him that if I got a chance, I'd give it a try on the net. So uh, I won't, it's, a, it's a temporary setup just while I test this for Nigel. So um, I'm not worried. I don't really use the Elad on transmit anyway, so it's not really an issue. But uh, good to know that uh, it's working uh, on transmit and uh, isn't dropping out. Um, back to you, M Zero K E P from Mike Zero, Oscar X Ray Fox. Yeah, Roger. Well, it's working a treat. Yeah, cheers, Ben. Good to hear you. And right, they go and get underneath his marrow. I suppose he's sort it out before it. I bet as soon as I fix it, it'll start pouring rain. Uh, cheers, anyway. Yeah, good to hear you. Seven three, two. M Zero K E P going clear. Yeah, cheers, Tim. All the best. Um, maybe catch up on Friday. Uh, wish you 7-3. Mike, zero. Oscar, X-ray, Fox, now going clear.